Yo, what's going on? Next to Mastiff, new video, we're back. I know you guys ain't seen me for a minute, but I'm back again. Been working on a few things behind the scenes. Um, as you know, we've got a new addition, which I revealed in my previous videos, Tank. It's just turned 11 months old, so yeah. Just been working and training him up and getting him into shape and stuff like that it's been a bit hard for the past few weeks since we got him um, number of reasons it's been hard because first of all he twisted a muscle in his leg so he was limping around on three legs um, so I had to get him to the vet he was limping around for about just under two weeks so it was quite a bad twist but he's back all up and running back on four legs now um sorting him out of the vets um what else has been happening Kali, she just finished her third season so obviously bringing tank around while Kalis was in her third season um was a nightmare because he just constantly wouldn't leave her alone um he was on her case um, it's best to separate them during this time but obviously just, I just had him so bad timing and then straight after Khalif Khalif had just started her season and now she's um, in her season it's not as bad as it was a few days ago she's coming towards the end of um, the period where she starts giving out the signals tank was all over her so he's been in heaven for the past few weeks He's been in heaven and hell. So he had a twisted muscle on his back leg, so he was limping around on three legs. And then he had the pleasures of Khalees and Khalifa being in season. He was just obsessed with them both. He was howling and it was a nightmare to try and keep them apart. But yeah, decided to do a new video today. Um, this one's gonna be on a topic of male Mastiffs versus female Mastiffs. Um, so if you're out there and you want to know the difference between males and females or maybe you're looking to get a new dog or whatever and you're trying to understand whether to get a male or a female maybe this video will provide a bit of help um, with that so yeah um, where can we start we're gonna start off with um, Males, in general terms, grow a lot larger than females. Um, just the structure of them, the size, the height, the weight of a male, the head is a lot bigger than a female in general. This way, come here. It's a lot bigger than a female in general. Um, that being said, you can get some really big females. Um, Khalees is quite a big female. Khalees is quite a big female. Um, for the breed so yeah she'll be about the size of a medium sized male but on a large end males are huge males are a lot bigger um, than females in general terms mastiff breeds are generally bred for guarding and protecting obviously there's differences within the breeds but generally speaking they're bred for guarding and protecting um, both male and female, they both do their job well. If you've got a very good um, stock of dog, well. Um, slight differences in terms of guarding and protecting. I find males to be a bit more territorial than females. Um, with males, they're gonna wanna pee on every single corner, um, mark their territory quite a lot. So every single corner they're gonna be marking and then they generally are quite aggressive when it comes to protecting that space female mastiffs i find them more in tune um, than males um, i find females more protective over the owner directly um, for example like khalifa and khalif sometimes i don't have to say nothing to them i just look at them or they pick up on energy very well um, compared to males they're more protective i find personally um, 
protective when it comes to you as a direct owner whereas males are more protective of their territory uh, their pack um, and surroundings than females um, so yeah fine that's one thing temperament and protectiveness uh, males and females are slightly different like I say both of them will protect if you've got a good dog then both of them will protect yeah another thing is when you have a male dog you got to be careful with how you socialize that male dog um, for example like going out to public places males are a bit more dominant um, and territorial so if you've got another male around it's usually gonna end in confrontation um, with two dominant male masters um, whereas females you can you, they're a bit more easy going you can bring females around um, other dogs and they can socialize a bit more easy not to say that every single female is going to get on with each other but it's a lot more easier than when you have a male males it's a bit more trouble so that's one thing to consider Another thing to consider, obviously females, they go into their season, they have their heat once or twice a year. So that's one thing to consider. Um, obviously, there's a bit of bleeding during this time. Their temperaments change quite a bit. Um, yeah, that's one thing to consider. And obviously, if you've got a male, then males are going to pick up on that scent and it's just going to be a nightmare. The best thing is to keep them well away from each other during this period. So yeah, obviously males, they don't have a season or heat or anything like that, but females do, which can be quite inconvenient, but it's only once or twice a year. So just prepare for that period. Um, in terms of trainability, I find Males are a bit more difficult to train than females. Males, I find them more headstrong than females. I find males, so when I say headstrong, it means like they're more direct. They always want to go towards the goal. And you've got to be a bit more forceful um, in terms of handling a male over a female. Females are a bit more sensitive. They don't require as much um, dominance or forcefulness to handle females, generally speaking. Females have a different type of stubbornness. A female stubbornness is more, I find like, they're a bit more independent, so they like to wander off. And when they do wander off, um, they can not hear you for, they, they chew, they're a bit selective on the hearing. Whereas males, when you generally call a male back, off lead, he's gonna come straight away. Whereas females, they're a bit more independent and they're a bit more, they like to explore a bit more and wander off. And bit selective on the hearing so it's a different type of stubbornness between them um, between the males and females both of them are stubborn it's quite common and typical within the mastiff breed um, so males and females are going to be stubborn but it's a different type of stubbornness I hope that makes sense uh, but yeah generally speaking that's about it um, between males and females let me know if I've missed anything out but yeah, I hope that helps you out if you're trying to look for a new addition or looking for a new dog or you want to know the difference between males and females.
you won it. Good boy. You won. Are you happy with that, yeah? Are you happy with that? Yes, boy. You got your stick. You got your stick. Yeah. You're happy with that. Hey, boy. Wow.